Hey guys, it's Jigger262 and welcome back to the channel. Now, I haven't done a Black Series video in a long time. To be honest, I haven't been collecting a lot of Black Series figures as of late. Thanks to the virus, quarantine, and other stuff. Shipment for a lot of stuff is all crazy all across the U.S. Getting out, uh, doing a lot of extra hours at work as a result of this. And moving to a new studio, so sorry that the lights are a little wonky. Uh, but I recently moved, so not everything is set up. And so all that stuff combined means not been able to do as many videos on this particular subject but as you can see in front of you i have a very special figure or really not so much a figure but i guess vehicle in a way droids being a kind of gray area for star wars this is of course the 40th anniversary of the empire strikes back probe droid d3 the third in the deluxe series now as you can see my box is pretty much destroyed i was lucky enough to find one of these uh, while shopping just at random and it might have come off a shipment it might have been only one not sure but there's the back you can pause it if you want to read it probably won't keep this card because the box is so janky and I know that a lot of other collectors have been having problems with Walmart's targets I found this particular one at a local target and other companies especially now more than ever where shipments are coming in piecemeal and just at random there's not a lot of care being taken or things are getting roughed up because of the whole process that the boxes are kind of wrecked but for me not really an issue because i don't really keep too many of my figures carded and the front of the box looks fine anyway so let's open this up so i can show you absolutely how massive this thing is i mean it is big i've seen a lot of other people cover it and the probe droid itself is about six and a half to seven inches without the stand so let's open it up and get a closer look Alrighty, so here it is out of the box and it is impressively large like i already mentioned as far as paint ups goes, it's pretty much all black. It's got a nice gunmetal color to it. There's some red along the top. The lenses are a nice gloss black, if I can get them to focus. Nice gloss black. None of these pieces rotate on the side. None of the cameras move, and neither does the top body. But the head itself will move. The antennas on top of the head will go up, and they click, and then they will go down and click again, so you can have them extended. And, of course, all of the arms move. And now this really captures the iconic look of the probe droid. So if there's any fans of Empire Strikes Back like me, or just normal Star Wars fans, it is actually my favorite of the Star Wars movies. And this is the first thing you see in Empire Strikes Back. And they really capture the unique, kind of asymmetrical look of the arms. And the really cool part is all the arms are fully articulated. So you have the one long one kind of in the middle. It has three joints. The little hand on the end rotates 360. These will rotate almost 360, about 180 in both directions. So will this joint here, and then so will the bottom joint. You can get it all the way, extend it down if you wanted to. And of course, they rotate 360 under the droid as well, which means you can pretty much pose the arms, and all the arms do that. All the arms have the same level of articulation. You can pose them really any way you want here, which is really nice. And that's pretty much about it as far as straight up review of the figure in terms of articulation. Now, paint apps are actually better than expected. I've seen some other ones that look a little wonky. And of course, the snow stand is nice. <laughs> Don't want his legs all the way splayed out like that. Make it a little bit more probe droidy. But it is really nice. I'll bring it in and we can... The only thing I don't like about the paint apps is the same thing I said about the battle droid. The battle damage parts that Hasbro kind of just prints on there looks a little weird to me. The chipping is just really big, but everything else is super amazing. And it has a bunch of cameras. All the cameras come in the same really nice, super reflective gloss black all around the head. There's some brown, some rust colors. I don't know if you have a camera is going to be able to pick them out. There. Along here to make it different than the black along with the red and silver. Now, not all the paint apps are exactly perfect like on here, but as far as the overall figure goes, it is quite impressive. You got canisters here, little power cells, more red. And then underneath is pretty much, oh, you can see underneath, pretty much just bland. It's where all the arms kind of hang out. So there's not a lot of detail put in there, but they still painted it up and made it look nice because you can see under it on the shelf. Now, last thing about this figure and why it is a deluxe figure and why it is so big and so expensive, it costs as much as other deluxe figures, is not because it's so rare, 
because it is in actual 112th scale or six inch scale. So here it is next to General Veers, who stands at exactly six inches. And I did a review on him, I think a little while ago. And you can see it is quite impressive on this shelf. It will certainly take up a lot of space. It looks incredible to me. And it is just massive. Like I said, the probe droid itself stands at about six inches. If I could get General Veers to stand up. And with the Snowtrooper, who is also about six inches tall, again, this will be great for any type of display you're doing for the Empire Strikes Back itself. So it is just massive. So the stand itself is a little more than six inches, probably seven inches. You add that in with the base, which is about a sixteenth of an inch. And the droid, it stands easily at about eight and a half inches all extend it like this so on the shelf it definitely the acrylic rod wow you can still kind of see it is a really cool touch and i'm really happy they did acrylic instead of like the weird clear plastic that they had been doing for like the biker scouts way back when if anybody remembers somewhere it was like just clouded plastic kind of clear but not really the acrylic allows it to be almost see-through and you really get the floating effect like it's flying and if i could just zoom out a little bit so you can see it yeah it is pretty tall so absolutely worth it if you're a fan of Empire Strikes Back or if you're just a Star Wars fan who likes really interesting pieces and really odd things like probe droids. This is definitely something I recommend picking up. It is absolutely incredible and I am so fortunate that I found one today and actually was able to pick it up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you enjoy content like this or any action figure black series content, please give it a thumbs up or just let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more action figure stuff. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the little bell icon if you want to see or get notified at any other point where I do Black Series videos. Which, again, given the circumstances of the world today, might be far and in between. But I can tell you, if anybody's interested, I will be doing a video on the Hot Toys Director Krennic figure. That's six scale coming up on, I think, Friday or Saturday. So hopefully pretty soon I will have another figure review. It won't be Black Series, but it is Star Wars. So if you want to get notified when that happens, please subscribe to the channel as always. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.